for former Minneapolis police officers charged with violating George Floyd's civil rights pleaded not guilty Tuesday during an arraignment in federal court. In May, a federal grand jury indicted Derek Chauvin, Thomas Lane, J. Kung and Total, nearly a year after Chauvin was seen kneeling on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes in videos that sparked nationwide protests over police brutality and systemic racism. Floyd, who was handcuffed and prone, repeatedly said I can't breathe as Kung and Lane helped restrain him and Tao kept bystanders away. The officers are accused of violating a federal law that forbid government officials from abusing their authority, and prosecutors must prove they were fully deprived Floyd of his civil rights. Kung and Tao, who saw Chauvin pinning Floyd to the ground, were charged with failing to intervene. All four were charged with failing to provide medical aid to Floyd. If convicted of causing bodily injury while violating the federal civil rights statute, the four men could face fines or up to 10 years in jail, according to the Justice Department. Actions resulting in death can lead to a life sentence or the death penalty, but legal experts told NPR that's unlikely. If Chauvin is convicted in the federal case, that sentence would be served at the same time as his 270-month state sentence in the death of Floyd. Chauvin appeared from a room in the state's maximum security prison. At the start of the hearing Tuesday, Magistrate Judge Tony Long indicated that the issue of separating Kung, Tao and Lane's trials from Chauvin's would be addressed. In August, attorneys for Kung and Tao asked to separate their federal trials from Chauvin's, arguing jurors would be unfairly prejudiced if they stood trial with him. Lone may also hear arguments on how much evidence prosecutors must turn over to the defense, according to NPR. Prosecutors have already turned over more than 370 gigabytes of documents, audio and video footage, the outlet reported citing court documents. The federal indictment is separate from the state's case against the officers. Lane, Kung and Tao face charges of aiding and abetting in Floyd's death, 